It is man cave perfection for history buffs. 75 years ago today, the fighting across Europe during World War II ended in what's known as VE Day. In his latest Eye of the Story, Greg McQuaid, a photographer, Cole Pearson introduced us to a Chesterfield man honoring the sacrifice of the greatest generation just steps from his home. Oh, it's relaxing. It's very relaxing to come out here. Follow Lee Holland through his backyard. Slowly, the hands of time go in reverse. Step inside. It is the ultimate man cave, yes. It's not a garage. This is a tribute to the greatest generation on four wheels. It's one of my favorites because of the way I've restored it back. Lee's World War II Motor Pool Museum in Chester opened in 2005. It's amazing when you open that door and they look in here and they see what is here. The Army veteran never grew out of his love of playing with trucks. It occupies a lot of time, uh, as you can well imagine. The Maryland native owns a fleet of vehicles from an ambulance to one of the first Jeeps ever made. As a custodian of these to try to bring them back and restore them all the way back, it's, a, it's an arrow honor to do that. Lee is just one of more than 4,000 members of the Military Vehicle Preservation Association worldwide, asking if his trucks are replicas. A big mistake. What? No. <laughs> no, very little, if any, reproduction. Everything is original as you see it. This fulfilled the obligation that he needed to find a place for his collection. <laughs> Supportive wife Kim says the museum is more obsession than hobby. A busy Lee is a happy Lee, so therefore I am very happy for him to have his time to keep him out of my hair. Lee will go to great lengths to add to his one-man operation from the Midwest to the Mediterranean. Kind of funny because they seem to find me more than me going out looking for them. But the thrill isn't in the hunt. It's sharing his passion with others. Where it pays off is when I have a World War II veteran come through the museum here. During our visit, Lee's thoughts drift toward VE Day. This is the original Stars and Stripes newspaper dated May the 8th, 1945. 75 years ago, almost to the hour, fighting ended in Europe. Now the war against Germany is won. It's important that we don't let this day go by and not recognize the sacrifice that so many Americans made. Life would be dramatically different had that victory not come our way. Lee's parents met weeks before his father John left for war. He painted what would become my mom's name, Elaine, on the windscreen. Personal memorabilia fills the museum. This is a piece of V-mail, victory mail. Including handwritten letters from his homesick dad. Closing's always the mushy part here. It's a little tough to do. It's a little tough to read it. This history buff will steer his collection for another decade or so. So those that survive today, uh, it's a pretty incredible feat that they're still around. When he finally hands over the keys, Lee intends to donate every single piece to the National D-Day Memorial in Bedford, securing a legacy for generations. It's building lifetime memories in people is what's important. That when folks come here, they see this, they hear the story behind them, it's something that they will cherish and never forget. Lee Holland is welcoming small groups under 10 to his World War II Motor Pool Museum. He'll throw open the doors to larger school groups when it's safe to do so. And as always, the admission price can't be beat. Free. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.